you know, as mayor, this is just a worst nightmare um, to have a tragedy like this. To lose anybody in your community is uh, very difficult, um, but when it affects a family so deeply, it's just tragic. So we're thinking about the family, and we are uh, so grateful to our remarkable first responders who responded <coughs> professionally and with uh, care and empathy. Uh, and we are grateful to our school system who has responded also with incredible professionalism. They were uh, really ready this morning for the difficult task of, of making sure that those students were, would have the support that they needed. Um, and we, I have received so many calls and texts and letters, uh, emails uh, asking uh, people asking what they can do, how sorry they are. And I think when you have a community as connected as West Hartford is, uh, we all feel the immense pain of, of one family that is going through such a tragedy. Uh, we're praying for the health of, uh, of the injured, uh, and we um, are here to provide whatever support we can to anybody going through it, but especially those that are closest uh, to the family. And, um, you know, if people are looking for things to do, um, think about supporting each other, your neighbors, checking in on them. Um, the reach of the family was very, very wide, uh, and there's many, many strong connections throughout the community. So uh, if you feel uh, uh, they were a family, they are a family of faith, uh, do a prayer circle or um, consider giving to a, a family crisis, a, an organization that uh, deals with family crisis, like the Bridge Family um, Center or the Town That Cares or the Village, um, or just supporting a neighbor or a friend. Uh, hug your kids tighter. I'm the mother of four, and these kinds of things are uh, felt very deeply. And I, um, I just, with again, with a very, very, very heavy heart, uh, I, I wish everybody uh, peace. Um, Mr. Corsi, you knew these people for 30 years. What can you tell me about this family? The family's uh, just uh, incredibly touched and so, so appreciative of the outpouring of uh, support and prayers that they've received over the past 24 hours. Um, this is truly... Uh, an unspeakable tragedy and if folks are looking uh, for a way that they can uh, be of service uh, I'd encourage them to uh, to pray for them but also at the same time uh, respect their privacy and and uh, give them uh, the peace and, and, and space uh, to grieve in, in private uh, that they so uh, greatly uh, deserve and, and need at this time, but uh, again, they're so appreciative of the outpouring of uh, prayers and, and uh, support that they have received. Thanks. Um, my apologies. It looks like we were having some issues with our microphone. If you wouldn't mind just um, recapping what you said at the beginning. Sure. And I just want to say that uh, the family is just so uh, uh, incredibly uh, touched and appreciative of the outpouring of uh, support and prayers that they have received over the last 24 hours. This is just a, a, a terrible, terrible tragedy. And um, if, if folks really want to uh, be of help and, and, and uh, to help this, this family, uh, we ask that uh, they continue to pray but also uh, give them their space, uh, their neighbors the space, um, the privacy that they, they need, that they deserve, so that they can begin the healing process. Uh, that's gonna take a while. It's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's a tough process, but uh, please give them the space to grieve in, in private uh, and, and, and work on the healing process. You, you've known them for 30 years, I don't want to intrude too much, but you have kids the same age or with them? I'm not trying to, you know, it's how well, I mean. I, I'm really, I mean, that's. How, how, that, do you, how, that, do you, how do you deal with this? And that, you know, and not, it doesn't make sense. It's not about me. your kids or anything. I mean, how do, how do you deal with this? It's, uh, I, I think the, the first thing that uh, we all understand is uh, it, there's no, there are no answers and, and uh, it, things are difficult to explain. And, uh, it's all right to be angry and, and sad. Um. Uh, difficult question. But, um, we understand that the boy 
was also injured and is also in a different hospital. Are his parents in touch with him? Are you able to answer that? Okay. Um, are you able to tell us anything about the, uh, or rather, the Jane's employer has confirmed her identity as Jane Murphy? Are you able to confirm that? I'd refer all questions to uh, the police. Okay. We're talking about two seventh graders. Um, did you have any experience with them playing soccer or what were your experiences with this quality of this family? Again, I think what we're asking most, first and foremost, is uh, that people give this family the space, the time, and the privacy that they need and deserve to begin the grieving process. Uh, we we're also learning that the school has a student of the month, and that this morning one of them was named as that student. Uh, how has this impacted the community? And uh, what have you seen in the last 24 hours as far as this community coming together? Well, I, I can say that we've received, a, I've received many messages about the, the recognition of, of one of the students and, um, and people were just, I had a lot of teary-eyed emojis and um, hugs and X and O's and just uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of shared emotion uh, uh, about the, the grief and tragedy and that's really all, you know, we can say about, um, what happened today? I would just echo the. Thank you. I would echo the mayor's comments. I think, obviously, a horrible, horrible tragedy that that occurred. But our community is really, really pulling together, and uh, as a town, we're going to do everything we can to support the family, uh, to support our students and our teachers, school population as well as the community at large. And we're very proud of how our first responders um, handled uh, the scene and, and responded to this, this tragic event. They really went uh, above and beyond. So the healing process, as Mr. Corsi said, as the mayor said, it, it's going to take um, a significant, uh, significant amount of time for our, for our community. We understand. Uh, we appreciate that. But we're, we're a strong and, and resilient community that, that cares about one another and takes care of one another. Is the counseling being offered tonight? Yes. Could you tell us about that? So the first responders are have counseling available. Um, parents and students also have resources available to them as needed. Uh, they were provided with some tools uh, today at the school. Um, they were met with counseling services today uh, and after school if necessary. And then tonight there will be more so available to just the families. There will be no uh, media or um, only people that are in the system. Well, where will that be when can they find it? The, it will be at town hall, but again, no media will be allowed. So that we can inform the public how to get there when. Oh. <laughs> All right. I was told not to say. Oh, okay. So no, but. Uh, okay. Well, should we? Yeah, that's fine. Man. Okay. We're good. All right. <laughs> so uh, there will be uh, professional counseling services for the families, uh, parents, and children only from our, the school system, uh, available from 6 to 8 in room 400 of town hall. Have you, any of you been able to talk to the first responders? How, how are they coping? We have, we, I have them? been communicating, through, and I think the town manager has been communicating through the chief right now. So both chiefs are making, are making sure that their first responders, our fire chief and our police chief, that their, um, the first responders have been taken care of, as well as dispatch also uh, had a very, very difficult job. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.